If you're like me, and you're monitoring the sound when you're recording something, you've got your headphones on. And maybe you want a bit of freedom, maybe you've got to go and set up and you've got to go maybe to the front of a lecture theatre or auditorium, and you want to be able to hear what's going on here as maybe you're setting up. Perhaps also when you're recording, maybe you're taking a few photos or dealing with something else because it's live streaming. And this cable is just not long enough and also can get tangled up and caught in things. So I used to use this Bluetooth adapter that used to plug into the headphone socket here. And then with these Bluetooth headphones, I could listen to what was going on. But there was a bit of a delay. And after a while that starts to get frustrating. And well, if you had to do that all day, it could actually, you know, maybe give you a headache having that sort of delay all the time and having to listen to that echo. So I realized I could actually use my radio mics, my wireless microphones. I've got the Rode Wireless Go on here, and this is the transmitter that would normally have the microphone, but it's going into the headphone socket. And then the receiver is now going into my headphones over here, so I can wander around and listen to that. And this works really well, and it gives me the freedom. So one of the things that you might want to consider if you're doing this is just to maybe put this inside your shirt, just like if you were miking someone up, because otherwise this cable could snag on something as you're walking around. But I actually find this kind of approach really very useful and it does free me up. And I can then also sometimes just attend to other things. It's important really to be monitoring the audio as much as possible, I would say, all the time. Now, as I said, I've used this with the Wireless Go the Rode Wireless Go, but actually I've also done this as well. I've got these Sennheiser ones here, which are very similar, these small little digital ones. These are the XSW Digital, and it works on here too. And I've got the Rode Wireless Go here as well. Sorry, not the Wireless Go, what am I talking about? This is the Filmmaker Kit, it works on that. And also with my much older, but still trustworthy Sennheiser, EW100 G3s, it works with this, and I'm pretty sure back in the day I used did this kind of thing as well with the G2. So it works on a whole different range of them. If you want to do this, I would say try it, give it a go, test it out with yours, and I think you'll be surprised just how well it works. I can't notice any sort of lag, and the quality is really good. In fact, I've even done this, plugging this into my guitar and then being able to walk around listening to it and not distract anyone either. Of course, I need a different connector here. So if you've got a camera, any camera with a three and a half millimeter um, jack here, I've tried this on other cameras, this does work really well. In case you're wondering, this is an EOS R and a Canon EOS R, but I've used this on the Canon Cinema range, on camcorders, on Sony and so on. So it does work really well. So if you want to free yourself up, this is what I recommend. If you happen to have a spare wireless mic lying around, just reverse it. So this is the transmitter, and that then goes into the receiver, goes into the headphones here. Hope that was helpful. If you like this, please do like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more.